relocate it to Kosovo. We were in Albania for over two weeks and we had our first annual Nomi Wellness Retreat. And honestly, I'm so proud of how it turned out. It was, honestly, it was better than I expected in some ways. And then there are some things that I will change for next year. So there's always gonna be learnings. Having said that, it's better than I expected because I didn't realize how everyone will receive Albania like I did and how everyone would have the same heartfelt experience like I did when I go to Albania. And that's what I didn't realize. I thought they would enjoy the offerings that we had, the boat, the hiking, the yoga, things like that. Like I knew everyone would love that, but I didn't realize that they would love the culture like I love it. And that just made it better. We're back. I'll give you some content on that, but I wanted to show you the apartment that we're at for the month here in Kosovo. It's really beautiful. It's a high rise. It has two levels and I'm just really excited about staying here because it's perfect for our family. It gives me somewhere to do content. It gives me somewhere to cook meals. It gives me somewhere to do kids homeschool because technically they're still supposed to be in school this year. So we're doing writing and math and geography and flowers each day. Like we're not doing a ton, but come with me so I can show you around. Okay, first things first is these high ceilings. I don't know how high they are. It's really nice in a city when you don't usually have that space. So even though this apartment is still really big, it feels even bigger because there's light and it just feels like home. This is what you see when you first walk in. It is a ton of storage, which is amazing for us. But let me just show you. It's nice because it's our own level. I'll just give you a little 360 view first. This is the main level. Stairs will take you to the good stuff, but let's show you this first. This is beautiful. It's a gas fireplace, but it is so hot here. We are not gonna be using that while we're here. We're gonna be here every summer, so I can't see us really ever using that. These are some of the antiques that I found during the retreat. There's lots of beautiful, very old Albanian antiques at the first stop, at the first town that we go to. So I was so excited about those finds. I'm completely obsessed with this living room, but if I'm honest, I haven't used it very much because our bedroom has a TV, which we don't have at home for actual that very reason because we would hang out there all the time. Not that we're in front of the TV, but I feel like it's nice to have a TV going in the background with some like, I don't know, keep it up with the Kardashians, whatever in the background. And um, yeah, I just haven't, haven't been hanging out here that much, but I love it anyways. Okay, it's like I designed it myself, even though I did not. Look at how beautiful this tree is. It's been holding its leaves, so I haven't had to clean up underneath it, which has been amazing. We have these really comfortable, let me show you the texture of this couch. It is so good, and it's honestly been pretty easy to keep clean. Really deep, and it is comfortable, even though, like I said, haven't really been using it. So we have plenty of seating area. We did have family over, and it was nice because you could sit everybody down and have plenty of space. I'm gonna show you the view on this side because we have view on this side and on the other side, which is so fun to be able to have that much of a view. I feel like it's really unique. We are pretty close to downtown, but that's actually the other direction. My sister-in-law lives back there somewhere. If you take that road, it takes you over to the airport. This takes you north and this one would take you downtown. That's my little knowledge of how to navigate the city. Honestly, you guys would be so proud of me because I've been driving around. I'm figuring my way around. So even though I make it sound like I don't know that much, I kind of do for not having driven here that often. I feel pretty proud of myself, so. Okay, let's move over to the kitchen and the dining room. By the way, 10 out of 10 for this rug. It is so comfortable on my feet. I love it. Even though Albanians never have bare feet. If you're Albanian, you know what I mean. They always have socks on. They think you're gonna get a cold. So they always know I'm American because I don't have socks on. The two of the chairs are missing because we're using them for homeschool right now. There's only four of us anyways, so we'll bring them when, if and when we have guests. This is where we've been eating every morning and having coffee. But look at how pretty that guy is. It is so beautiful to walk in and see this. Right off of the table is the first balcony. So you have that same view that I showed you before from over in the living room. This has been a lifesaver. 
All I have to do is turn it on, pick my coffee by moving this guy around. Ooh, it's a little dirty. Anyways, press coffee, boom. It is so easy. I'm so, so happy that we have that. Here we go with these press cabinets. I love them, but it does get fingerprints there. So if you're designing a kitchen, just say no. We have some extra glasses. As you can see, we haven't used any of them. Here is the kitchen. It is directly off of little dining room area. And this was the only thing I was a little bit concerned about because it makes the kitchen a lot smaller, but it hasn't been an issue at all. And it's nice and open, so I don't think it closes in the space at all. I haven't minded it. And even loading the dishwasher and like opening all of these hasn't been an issue at all. Okay, dirty dishes. And then we just had our grain and protein delivery. I just went downstairs and picked it up. Show you what we got for today. All right, so this is not sponsored, but maybe you saw my stories before. For an entire month for three people. We did three people because the kids don't have a whole meal usually. They split it. So we did three people. And once a day, fresh delivery. It's different. Every single time they deliver, there's a different meal. All healthy. We chose extra protein. You can choose what kind of protein you want. Vegan, vegetarian, omnivore, whatever. And it's delivered fresh for 200 euros only for the entire month. Okay, so today we got some fresh fruit cups and some wraps. I can't wait to try these. We've been trying to eat at home as much as possible. So I'll show you what we have in our fridge, even though I'm a bit out of groceries right now, but you can see kind of what we've been buying. It's always interesting that living in another country because you have to figure out what brands work for you. We've been getting these protein shakes, which I'm so excited about. 50 grams of protein. We like the pistachio the best, but the vanilla is good too. It has only one gram of fat and 24 carbs, which is really good for a protein shake. You drink protein shakes and you're in the area. This is very, very good. And we also have some soy milk. I usually like that in coffee, but ooh, something on my finger. But I haven't been drinking milk in my coffee. So this is actually full right now. Ui magaz, ui pagaz. It means water with bubbles, water without bubbles. Interesting fact with eggs is that they come in tens instead of twelves. I think that that's pretty cool. We've been trying to get everything made in Kosovo if we can. Here is the guest bathroom. So this is the first of three. Out from this bathroom, you'll start to hear, these are like the kids' area. They have their TV on. This is the kids' bathroom. I'll open it up. It's right inside their room. It's really pretty. I love the textured tiles that they have here. And there are the kids, pretending to sleep in the middle of the day. <laughs> but look at this big screen TV that they've been living their life on. They just got done. What did you do for school today? Oh, we we um, get right, the right, writing. Writing. We we like, right now. Um, I, our mom said that we could have do it whenever we want for gym class. Usually we go to the pool, but I do for gym do class. class. Yeah. So pool is upstairs, which I haven't showed them yet. We do gym class, but today they are watching for gym class because I was going to get some work done. We put all of their clothes here. It's nice. Oh, there's a light. Do you want to turn it on for us? Ooh, look at that. Lights it all up. We've been trying to keep our stuff clean, haven't we guys? So we have all these drawers, just a ton of storage space, which is really unique to this area. And then we have a beautiful bathtub. This is the bathtub that's right in their room. I'm actually sitting on their bed right now. And this is the view of the other side, which you'll see when we go upstairs, but I'll give you a little glimpse. This is the balcony that connects to all three of the bedrooms. So the kids' room, this is, we're using it as a school slash office. I'll show you that next. And then that's our room. Being the kids' room right now, this is the other room. We have used all the blankets, so that's kind of stripped. But as you can see, we are using it as an office. So we have a desk right here. We put the dining chairs here, and then the kids each have a school drawer. This is where they've been putting their books. And we've just been practicing writing mostly, but we also have some math stuff and some things on their iPads that we've been doing as well. Okay, so those were the two bedrooms, and then I'll show you what is in this black box next. Wine cellar, but 
no wine, unfortunately. But that's okay because it gave us a really nice temperature regulated area for all of our camera stuff. I'm gonna be doing some videos while I'm here upstairs. There's a really pretty area. So I'm going to be recording classes for the app and I can't wait to share those with you guys. We'll show you my bedroom next and then we'll go upstairs. Okay, my ignorant American ass had no idea that there was something that could wash and dry. This has been amazing. Here's our room. As I said before, I did not clean. So we have piles of laundry over there. They just came out of the dryer and I just haven't done it yet. I will, don't worry. This is the bathroom right in the middle. It's kind of fun. I do wish that there was more privacy, like we could make it um, like shade it or something, but it's fine because we can just close this door and respect each other's privacy as much as possible, as much as you can with kids. You can see the view a little bit better in this particular room. Again, you'll see it upstairs. Let me show you our closet. I have taken over most of it. So this is all my stuff. And that's Visar's. This is quite tall, so we didn't hang anything up there, but if we were staying for longer than we are now, then definitely that would be good for storage. I have all of my linen stuff here. I kind of change my vibe while I'm traveling to this long linen crochet kind of vibe. And I really love who I am in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have a few purses that I brought, just kind of my simple ones that can kind of go with everything. I have my gym membership card, which I'm going there later today. I'll do a tour there as well. It's really beautiful. All of these are from Amazon. My Amazon storefront, I have more here that I had taken with me um, for a photo shoot. So those are in a purse somewhere, but I brought a ton of sunglasses because they're just so many different shapes and I love them my tops, everything that I use to work out. Uh, my shoes are in a different place. Look at all this extra storage, it's beautiful. Way more than we need for this amount of time that we're staying here. Look at how pretty Visar's is though. Let's just give him a little bit of a credit for making his closet look so nice. And then let's go upstairs. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, that pool has been so nice. We've been using it three times a day. We've been swimming laps for cardio all the way around here. So we have one balcony on this side, which we have been using often. And then there's another one on this side that I'll show you. Let's start with the smaller one. We've been drinking coffee here in the morning. Sometimes we move these out here. And then this is the same side that the circle was on that I showed you. So underneath us is our living room. This has just been a really fun spot to sit. I'm really, really enjoying this. I've been editing videos here. There's a wide angle view. I will try to add something at night too because these lights all turn on and just make it look so beautiful, so cozy in here. Okay, here's the pool. The temperature has been absolutely amazing. We've got a bunch of diving toys for the kids. It has been, honestly, I don't know how we're gonna go back from this. <laughs> so turning away from the pool, we have this little bar area and honestly, we haven't been having people over. So this hasn't, we haven't really needed this, but I just think it's such a cool element because if you did live here for longer, you would probably have, you know, more friends here and more people coming over. I just love this area. We have a nice bathroom in here, which is perfect for the kids at the pool, not having to go downstairs. Then they can also shower off before they go back down. I've shown you most of the upstairs. Let's go out to the balcony and that'll be the last part of the apartment that I show you. I love this area because we've been here for coffee, for food. You have to bring it from downstairs up, but it's such a beautiful view. Like you'll see in a second, we're as high up as it gets for residential buildings. Here we are. As you can see, we are so high up. We've been keeping this open just for um, to not overheat. We have this beautiful dining set here. There's so much space up here. When it's so sunny, we can put this open and it covers the entire area. It's just been beautiful to sit here. Hope you enjoyed the tour and I will be taking you with me for a lot more of our adventures these next few months. So I'll see you next time.
down. 